two months have been utterly insane and hectic to say the least. From reaching execution stage of artist exhibitions, dinners and private events, to developing strategy for artists and the galleries they work with, to running rapid organizing our annual selling brunch that was developed to pay tribute and thanks to those who have supported at least our group in general, as well as collected from artists within a group. But we all had all of that hard work pay off. And although it's not all about the money, that is a huge part in building sustainable career. So it's been a whirlwind, but I'm here to give you guys a recap and tell you how we sold nearly $60,000 worth of art within 28 days. What's going on, y'all? I'm Mariah Lees. Welcome if you're new, and welcome back if you've been kicking it with me for a while. On this channel, you guys know we get to deep dive into the art auction market, talk about the art world from my perspective, and I get to put you guys, I get to put you guys on game, educating you all with information I've learned about being in this very protected art world over time, and of course, sharing updates with you like we're doing today from the artists I work with under Elise Art Group. Also, let me know if you guys follow my Instagram. A lot of this may not be new to you as you followed that journey, but I figured let's go ahead and make it a video and make it visual for you guys. Now let's start at the beginning, June 9th, 2022. Lamont French was to be the honoree of a dinner hosted by LEO Fine Art here in Houston, Texas. This dinner was meant to introduce him to their friends and their collectors. As you guys know, I'm the founder of at least Art Group, an art house and art management company. Because we work as management, we can independently have exhibitions, but the beautiful part that having artists sign with the Least Art Group is they can still be signed to galleries. Our job then is to be a very strong support to all of the artists in their partnerships. Well. Although we had been in strategy meetings and we all had a very clear view of how we wanted the dinner to end, when you get to event day, it is always nerve wracking. The, nerd, the night of, I'm telling myself, everything's cool, everything's gonna be fine, everything's gonna go smoothly. And let me say, Lamont and I knew for a fact that this evening had to end the way that we wanted it to for our overall strategy to go the way that we had written. He had just been invited to be a part of the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston Benefit Auction, which his piece sold within the estimate. And this evening we will be having dinner at LEO with a mixed guest list of LEO's folks and our folks. We'll be sitting family style by some folks we knew and others we had the pleasure of meeting that evening. Lamont had completed six works for this dinner that will be showing on the wall that sat in front and behind us. All works were for sale and as we always plan to, work sold before the dinner. Now, mind you, the intent of this evening was to introduce Lamont, as well as have a great friend of ours, as well as a, a very well-decorated art collector who has been named the number 12 art collector in the world, Lester Marks, speak about his friend Lamont. But that never goes without saying, without all of these amazing things going on this evening, we still don't want to have to pack up all of the art, all of the work, and bring it back to his studio, right? So one thing that we always know is we better sell this work. <laughs> this evening, he would show Como Se Va Number no. 2, King's Ransom, True Religion, Story of Joseph, Trap Queen in New Jack City. Everyone ate well. We had an amazing conversation. Lester spoke amazingly. Trish, the gallery owner, was filled with grace as always. So much gratitude and grace was given to her. And, and guess what? We sold all six works doing a private dinner between 25 and 30 people. But that's not the catcher. Trish had works from Lamont in her inventory. And it was such a demand that evening that we had to go into inventory where three more pieces were sold. This evening, we sold $35,500 worth of art. This night had been in the work for, for months. Nights like this don't just happen. It's cumulative of everything that you've done before, everything that I've talked about with you guys here. Everything affects something positively or negatively. We don't have room to miss. We don't have room for error. That's how we have to move forward. We've had two sold out nights with Lamont French in the last eight months, and he has a lot coming up for the remainder of the year. His second solo with the Least Art Group, Memoirs of Love and Hate, um, and January and February is gonna be stacked as well. Say that so we can move into the next event, the next thing that happened. We're gonna move into June 24th. At the end of Lamont's dinner, we were only two weeks away from Tay Butler's first exhibition with the Least Art Group at First Nothing Is. There was so much pressure around this exhibition. Tay had just received his MFA from the University of Arkansas, and not only was this first solo with the Least Art Group, this was his first solo, period. And I can admit that I had an intense amount of desire for Tay, just like Tay had for himself, to make a statement 
that he was here and he was here to stay and that this was a career for him. I know that we needed Tay to begin garnering collector support in the Houston area. He had already shown in the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston. He had completed his MFA, but his collector base really needed to grow. Now remember, through at least our group, we focus on a few pillars. We create strong institutional support, strong collector support, strong community support, and strong brand partnerships. This evening of the exhibition, we knew that we would invite a few heavy hitters, and our strategy was to go into the exhibition with at least 40% of it sold but we were behind when i tell you we were behind nothing was framed i mean we were a week two weeks away and there was still so much to do we knew we had to speed things up tay had just returned to houston from arkansas so our schedule had been a little bit unpredictable but we were able to pull it off but i tell you with a lot of hard work dedications and conversations we went into the exhibition with five pieces sold and that evening we saw all but just a few. It ended up being one of the best nights, such as successful evenings. This exhibition at First Nothing Is was an exhibition of collage, paintings, drawings, and photographs by Tay Butler. In these works, he engaged with the idea of choice and change, the truth that we create reality, so we must have the power to change them. He activated what it means to be black and seek deconstruction while building the change that we seek. The works were characterized by the political mutability and malleability of the subjects as they move through that change. And he used basketball as a catalyst, as you guys can see in telling these stories. He showed works such as Blue and Orange, Summer Leagues, American Three, Drops and Goals, a few of the pieces that sold that evening. This evening, we sold $10,000 worth of art. Now I have to point out that at at least our group, our exhibition model isn't typical. We don't exactly have the gallery model and we definitely don't follow the pop-up model that many unsuccessfully follow. We've learned how to blend the two in a way that has become loved and respected by many. It's important to me and us that we work with galleries, but more important that we don't wait on their validation. It's important that we achieve the same things they achieve without them, so that when we do work with galleries, it's a much stronger relationship. We have to create sustainability and success that initiates the galleries and institutions' interest into us. Now that Tay Butler's exhibition was over, we were two weeks away again from one of the biggest events of the year, Dear Glory. At least our group was proud to present Dear Glory, which was the inaugural and private group exhibition in brunch, introducing and reminding those the mission of the journey of Elise Art Group, as well as its artists. Now that's Tay Butler, Kobe Dill, Lamont French, Erica Alonzo. In this exhibition, there was Ryan Williams, Anthony Suber, and Trey Slaughter. Now Dear Glory was a mark in time and celebration of the art house in recognition of the individual pursuit of the path the artists have taken to their desired legacies. We have to keep in mind though, each artist engages in their practice differently. There's a common pursuit, but there is a common pursuit of mastery and there are common sacrifices taken within their studies and their journeys that they wish to equate to this powerful additive towards the art world in general, right? So Dear Glory personally invited special guests, those that have supported at least our group, those that have supported the artists, those that have collected from the artists, and we wanted them to join in celebration in one year of Elise Art Group and engage with our mission, the artists and one another. We intended to grow and garner the community, intending group support of the house, as well as the artist ecosystem here in Houston in particular. We just wanted to show love to everybody who said out loud, we support you. It was filled with love and it was filled with gratitude and an immense amount of thank yous. Everyone who was invited has played a significant or will play a significant role in our growth and everything was filled with love we just wanted it to feel like community and we drank good we ate good we drank champagne we smoked cigars we talked about art we show one another love but we also just had a good time dear glory was one of the best things that we could have done and saying hey everyone that has supported us and showed us love we want to show you love too let's celebrate together it was sponsored by Ido Vodka and it was sponsored by Topo Chico. And when I tell you guys they showed up, they did such an amazing job. But that night, that evening, that day, we sold $13,700 worth of art. And let me point out, art was for sale and it's always gonna be available, but we just wanted to show love that day. And in return, people showed love to us and they collected works that they loved by Ryan Williams and by Erica Alonzo. It was, Community, I have to say, is one of those things that you can't live without, you can't survive without. 
and we will always show our community love. We will always continue to garner our community because it's one of the things that keeps us alive. Now, with all of what I just told you guys, over the last few months, we equaled $58,200. And we've only been alive for one year. So within 28 days, within our first year, we, we've grossed nearly $60,000. Now, that's not all we've grossed over the year. And again, money isn't the only thing that matters, right? But it is a way to measure success, right? It is a way to measure whether you're able to keep going with the company, right? And you have to understand and realize that I just spoke about institutional support, what institutional support the artists have had. I've talked about what type of collector support the artists have had. And I've talked about what type of brand support the artists have had. We're talking about building on all of these pillars that I keep telling you have to be strong in order to sustain an artist's career, right? And we are actively going towards that. We are actively attacking that. And we will continue to actively attack that with our hard work, our dedication, and the support from others. After Dear Glory, my fiance and I joined his family for his brother and sister-in-law's vow renewals, where I ordained the wedding um, in Marbella, Spain, where we spent seven days. We then went to Barcelona and we then went to France. So we spent about two weeks in Europe and now we're back and I'm giving you guys this recap. Now, y'all keep kicking it with me. I know I kind of went AWOL for a second, but I'm back. I'm gonna give you guys a lot more a day in the life. Um, actually, right after this, I'm going to Lamont French's studio and we're gonna film some of the strategy, uh, some of what we talk about during our management meetings. And I just wanna say thank you, just like we thanked everyone with Dear Glory. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for sticking with me on this channel and thank you for continuing to be a support and growing it. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure to continue talking with you guys and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Don't forget to subscribe and like and stick with me.